So five scores without a goal so far. Cox the fingertips, it's Josh Dacos. It's a vacant square, which means a true bounce and a goal. Out into the sunshine, and Ash Johnson and a big leap from Murray. It might be that sort of day. Goes again, Murphy was able to ride the push from Quayno. Rather over dramatic, looking for the free kick, and the umpire wasn't buying. Spin from Fogarty was outstanding, perfect man to give to because Smith can go from there to the square. The strength of Riley Philthorpe, and the Crows have one for themselves. And now Nick Dacos with a sense of calm to Mitchell. Speaking of calm, Pendlebury to Adams. This is what they do, they own the MCG corridor. Johnson, a tumbler that's on its way and didn't even need to bounce. Cue the jubilation. He's doing a respectable job. Maynard got a little shove. Was it enough? It was too much. So, Gary, there's a game of cat and mouse going on here with Nick Dacos and Ben Keyes. Whenever Collingham get the ball, Keyes works to Dacos, but it doesn't happen the other way around. Penelbury had Mitchell, but he went longer. He went straight at a hill. And Elliot, they seemed to be in the collision course. They had all the time in the world to get a ride. And Jamie Elliott puts it through. And then in the haste, Moore does it comfortably. They're, they're half a step away, Adelaide. The little fumble, not being able to identify the free player, and then Collingwood would make you pay the other way. Harrison, driving ball for Elliott again. As we mentioned, his set shots haven't been as reliable this year as they once were. That was a mighty kick. Is Billy back? Yes, he is. Happy to team up. Cameron took a long time to make the choice. He didn't want to be rushed. Hoskin Elliott in there inside 50. Lipinski had a good look to the inside. He goes for Adams. I'm sure that was a handball. Nick Dacos crowded, but still managed not just to get boot to ball, but to create something for Bobby Hill. A bounce, a second. Good luck. Across it went just for a moment. Elliott had to work out what was next. It was delivery for Johnson. Bobby Hill, he deserved it. He and Nick Dacos were the stars of that. You've got to score from that. You've got to have to score from that. So Pedler just sets it up. No one was really ready to fly. Walker, now the most important part. Saligo, yes, he's curled it around the post. But importantly, it was on the inside and it's a goal. Kick goes to the 100 gamer. And Dawson took a couple of extra metres on offer and delivered on a platter to Pedler. So he's got to get involved. Difference this time, Nick Dacos has started on the ground. Is Howe. Excellent. Just a little reminder. Just a mini Jeremy Howe. Cox couldn't stop him to half forward. O'Brien, the Ruckman, he's got Pedler to the left. Keys to the right. Back to O'Brien. And then to Jones into the middle. There's Crows everywhere. Shoal takes the mark. And he's not satisfied yet. They can get a little closer. This time, Isaac Rankin. He preferred to go back to Howe, who's now got a lot to deal with. And Pedler's tackling two at the same time. The ball and out the back. Rochelle, Rankin. It should be a goal if it just would behave itself for Fogarty. He goes baseline, and Murphy couldn't miss from there. The Crows are a coming. He's bringing some with him now. Length on the kick. This is the man that can help get them over the line. Taylor Walker, 55 metres out. Oh, oh. oh, he's done it! Everyone around Australia wants a ticket to see Taylor at the MCG. Strong lead from Pedler, but the kick went wider to Fogarty on the march. Collingwood fans sense how big this is. Adelaide are hot and getting hotter. The fog is lifted. The Crows are playing incredible football at the home of football. Onslaught. 29 touches. Nine marks, 10 tackles. Taylor Walker, the old skipper. And what a difference it makes when you take your chances. Three in the quarter for Tex. Out of stoppage and then get him in that front six. 
Ruckman locked up, and they lock on to Crisp. Top of the square, that's where the heat is. Harrison! <laughs> what a moment for the young man! Back to 13 points. Darcy Cameron, there's plenty on that kick. Cox, got it! Had a few beauties here at the MCG. At one end, it's Tex. At the other, it's the Texan kicking goals for their team. There's a whistle. The jumper was tagged. And it's Mason Cox. Mason Cox. Through his amazing career. He's on the big stage. Every now and then he loves a huge moment. How fast has he gone to? <laughs> Listen to that crowd. Dawson kicks inside 50. Rochelle capable of a little bit of magic. Dawson on the weave. Oh, lot to ask of Lucky Murphy in the long sleeves. On the line, Rankin. Oh, he wasn't far off. Oh, Zach Wayne is just breathing a sigh of relief. I think they're going to go to the score review. Felt like it was over from here. I believe there's a touch behind us. i to make sure it was the last touch. Review complete. Look at this angle. There is insufficient evidence to determine if the ball was touched before crossing the goal line. Decision on scoreboard. Not with Isaac, but it's a popular call around the MCG. Keys. Adams tucks the ball under the arm and the crowd rises. Nick to Josh Dacos. They might create another. It's the greatest great in Dacos at the moment. And this is just quietly five straight for Collingwood. In the final term, and they lead by seven. Sloan, there's a way forward. Oh, Taylor man. Walker is one-on-one -on -one with Maynard. Uncomfortable for Brad Maynard. The coast is clear, and the Tex will relish this. They're not dead yet. These LA Crows. 20 precious seconds. Go forward, Adelaide. O'Brien does. We wait for the bounce. Here's Dawson at his hundredth. Toppled over by Isaac Planer to Jeremy Howe. Welcome back to the big time, Jeremy. He's kicked at the Hoskin Elliott. It's a winter classic. Collingwood are on top for a reason. Ten of the last 14 times when they've tried a three-quarter time. And they've done it again. Imagine barracking for this team. It's emotional down here. It's, it's an amazing feeling on the bench when you have a win like that fly. What are you feeling right now about your team? Oh, it was about 180 plus, so I'm nearly 50, I can't afford that. <laughs> Sorry to all our fans out there, we made it hard for us today, but um, yeah, I felt we went away from what we've been doing. Um, third quarter in particular, just a bit fancy if you like, and then we get back to you know, what we are and take territory, turn up, and yeah, here we are. It's more than that though, isn't it? The, the will to win, I mean, you can feel it. You can see Johnny Noble's two efforts. That, that's that, that's what we want to be. Um, you know, it's fantastic. Just never give up. And I'm sure all our fans at home will wish it wasn't like this every week, but you know, will to win's awesome.